There are over 15,000 residents in Bonte, a farming community. The people say the dusty and poor roads linking them to the district capital is now unbearable. For these Bono East residents, commuting from one end of the community to the other, especially when it rains, is always difficult because aside the mud, there are also a lot of potholes on the roads. Their complaint is that the bad roads are negatively affecting the local economy and are therefore sending an SOS to government to do something about the situation. We are required in Sydney for a bit in Dini for a hospital. The rest of them for some more in Quanoma. Nanu ya Quarian Yenti. You could do hospital and I'm a mammy if you see a quiet yen yet. Yes, Rabbi. So I'm a boy upon a my breath of us. I find him. If you are Kubumi, Mother Tofa, I can't get the cry. We could be so in the if you are Kufima. The same thing, Echo Town called your cry and come out to take out twenty minutes. And this is will be Yawa, like as a camera, Mefana, Edwin, Nina, and my animal craft for the best say a bambi be said to fool your old tenant and share your ha. Mr. Samuel J is the assembly member for Bonti Electoral Area. Look at the Otamelo here because of the route, we are not getting anyone to come and buy. So our farm product gets rotten, even tomatoes and what have you. So we are pleading to the government and anyone who can come to our aid to come to our aid. And with the electricity extension, we need it. We need it badly. The chief of Bonte, Nana Krobia Santisapon, said the state of rules in many parts of the district has resulted in many deaths and rising cases of maternal mortality. He said the investments of farmers are going to waste because the rules linking the community to the nearest market center are bad. <laughs> compound <laughs> Checks at the Nkranza North District Assembly showed that the roads linking Bonti and adjoining communities have been awarded on contract. About 30 kilometers of roads in the area have been awarded to Sapel Limited. Samuel Ayama, TBC News, Bonti.